Evil Rise. Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Kamen Rider 01 DX Natsubo Jinrai Force Riser! So here we are, and there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So at the front here, we have the Force Riser, then we have Kamen Rider Horobi, whose suit design I absolutely love, by the way, love his suit design. And of course, he had the included progress key on this side of the box, so we have Horobi and the driver. Symbols, stuff, things on the top of the box. We have the driver, we have Horobi again on the bottom, driver. Orobi. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, this, that, the other things and stuff, stuff and things. Hey, look, it's gin. And warning, don't eat anything in this box that could be very bad for you. And we have Sir Pac-Man. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the Force Riser from MetsubleGenerate.net. I just love saying that, I'm sorry. But before we take a look at the belt itself, let's take a look at the included progress key. So here we have Sting Scorpion. And I love the purple, the shade of purple they used on this looks really good. And yeah, the Scorpion design, Sting Scorpion Ability Poison. And the typical progress key goodness. Again, the front as usual done in a nice smoky transparent plastic. Any typical Progressy goodness as far as the detailing goes. Side Pac-Man! Just molded on it forever in shame. You have the QR code. If you want to scan it, go ahead. Free scan on me. You're welcome. And we can open up the key. And there you have the kind of robotic skeletal scorpion going on there. And again, I love these designs. I think they look really cool. And you have a little scorpion symbol there as well. And there you go. So let's get down to the noises. So push the button up top and we get... Oh, yes. yes. Push it again. Scorpion ability. So, there you have that. So, without further ado, let's bring in the Zero One driver and our friend the Rider Can, because if the Rider Can, you can. So, let's get down to it. the claws and the attack it's bubbly it's gurgly <laughs> it's just it's kind of weird and unsettling but anyway now we'll do our other attack with the second key scan and we'll just go straight to the end And there you have explosions! Explosions! And next up, the Ames Shot Riser. He's got a fever, and the only cure 
It's more stinging. Anyway. So now we will disengage the gun. And do the attack again. It's gurgly. It's bubbly. <laughs> there you go. And last up, the Atash Kaliba. And there you go. And now it is time for the main event of the evening. Here we have the Force Riser, and this is the transformation device of Kamen Rider Horobi and Kamen Rider Jin, the dastardly duo of the show. And as you can see, it's a very simplistic design, but still kind of cool. Let's get close here. So we're going to take a look at the details. As you can see, you have a nice... Uh, diamond plate pattern going throughout it, which I am personally a fan of. Um, you can see all this done in a nice silver. You get some like straps going on there. You also have some yellow and black. Again, it's very simplistic design, very simplistic in its color palettes. But hey, it gets the job done, making people evil into evil, evil writers. But pretty cool. And here's the back. You can see a bit of detail going on there. Your battery compartment is right back here. It takes two AAA batteries, which are not included. You will have to get those yourself. Your on off switch is right there. And your speaker is right here. Obviously it's a belt, so you have belt parts. You got the strap here and you have the back piece to hold the slack. And as always, you know, this is not meant for an adult waist, but there are ways to extend it. There are DX belt extenders, whatever, you know, Velcro strap, whatever your means, or people even just use a regular belt and just loop it through that. Again, that's also, hey, whatever you want to do to make it fit your adult waist, go right ahead. None of my business, but <laughs> there it is. So let's get down to some noises here. So the on-off switch is right back there. So when you turn it on, you get... And it tells you what it is, in case you already forgot. And you get a nice bright red LED that goes off right in there. And you have this little, little lever here. And when you pull it, you get that. You can close it. And you get that. So, let's do this properly. So, without further ado, let's bring back the Rider Can. Because if the Rider Can... Uh, you know the rest. I'm not going to do it again. But Anyway, let's get down to some henchening. So we'll bring in Sting Scorpion for Horobi. And we insert the key with it closed right into the side here. Get the light going off. Standby noise. And when you're ready to go, just pull the lever. So, tension! And there you go, you've transformed into Kamen Rider Horobi! And you see the little red LED that goes off in there and lights up the symbol for a bit. And there you go. We are now transformed. So now to do our attack, we're just going to close the driver and then open it up again. Get a new standby noise. And open it up. that and we can do one more attack so again just close the driver and open it back up so there you have Horobi with sting scorpion so just close the driver and you can just pull the key right out. 
And there you go. So now we're done with Horobi. So now we'll bring in Flying Falcon since that is what Jin uses. <laughs> I like the breakdown at the end, like it's kind of choppy, like how the toy sounds. It just sounds cool, it sounds evil, I like it. And we'll do our attacks. And our second attack. So there you have Jin and Flying Falcon. So now let's bring in another progress key. How about uh, how about old Rising Hopper here? Now, as you heard with Rising Hopper, we get the little phrase there in the Henshin, whereas with Sting Scorpion and Flying Falcon, you don't. So, um, basically, the way it works is Flying Falcon and Sting Scorpion will not give you that little phrase, but all the other progress keys, you will get the little phrase there at the end uh, before it says, Break down. So, that's pretty cool. So, let's do our attacks. Little hiccup there happened, okay, that's the first time that's happened, but hey, explosions! Explosions! So, there you go. So there you have the Force Riser, and it's pretty cool. I do like it. You know, obviously it doesn't do as much as the Zero One Driver, but still cool in its own right. I do like the design of it. It's, it's kind of a simplistic design, but it still works. It works for me anyway. So while not as flashy as a Zero One driver, it definitely works for being for being the bad guy's driver. Works perfectly, so there you go. Now, of course, there are many sites you can go to for stuff like this if you are interested, such as CS Toys, Hobby Link Japan, Ami Ami, Hobby Search, Mandarake, of course, there's always eBay and Amazon. You can also check out BigBadToyStore.com for some common Rider items. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Zero One playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Kamen Rider Zero One the DX Metsubo Jinrai Force Riser. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud. Home in your face.